Hey guys, just back for another quick beer review. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing Fuller's London Black Cab Stout. Um, saw this one in the shop the other day and it looked pretty cool. And having a quick look online, it um, looks like it's gone gone down very well with the with the public. So this is a 500ml bottle, 4.5% ABV, and what else does it say? Brewed in London with the knowledge. So Fuller's is a family owned brewery, you're probably very familiar with them. Let's, uh, let's crack it open. A uh, little bit of hiss, not much, not much smoke coming off there. But Pull this out. Okay. So as you can see, the heads come up very, very nicely. Um, Nice creamy head, nice there's, down the bottom there the bubbles are very nice and tight. Sort of a nice beigey colour. It's very very jet black. It says I've used five different roasted malts in there. Carbonation coming up through the glass. But um, no very very nice looking head. So yeah, jet black beer with a sort of a beige creamy head on it. There's a good good two fingers there. Okay, let's uh, just turn the camera around. Let's give this a smell. Yeah, you can definitely you can smell the smell the malts coming off. Not overpowering. Bit of roasted um, malt aroma coming off. Okay, let's give it a give it a taste. Mmm, that's very nice. I'm picking up those dark roasted malts. Um, of dark chocolate flavour as well. Got quite a dry um, taste to it. Once you've swallowed it, there's a bit of a dry finish there. But it's very nice. Good, good mouthfeel and and um, and body to it. I mean, it's only four and a half percent, but it um, it feels like it's it's stronger than that. Um, there's a little bit of sweetness coming through there as well. But no, that's um, that's a very solid stout. I think it got a 91 rating on Rate Beer. And um, yeah, that's that's a beautiful, beautiful stout. It's, it, it, it's not overpowering. You could easily sit down and um, enjoy a couple of those um, without um, feeling it was, you know, too overpowering. Like I said, that beer, that beer is jet black. The head sort of dissipated quite a bit, but it's still there. It's still, there's quite a lot of glass lacing and. Um, yeah, the head still staying reasonably creamy on top. I know that's uh, that's an that's a very good stout, you know, for four and a half percent. Wasn't super expensive, I don't think. Only I think it was about six dollars, something like that. It's also some 
like sort of red berry sort of um, fruit flavour there as well. Yeah, sort of, I don't know, sort of maybe a bit of raspberry or something like that. I don't know, maybe that's... Yeah, just picking up something else, sort of, yeah, some sort of raspberry, sort of red currant sort of flavour as well. But beautiful. You can get your hands on one, I definitely recommend giving it a try. Uh, thanks for watching the beer review, guys. Um, we'll catch you sometime next week. Uh, before I go, just a quick shout out to David from Cheshire Home Brew. Uh, congratulations, David, on reaching your 50th sub and also on getting your half century in cricket. Uh, great stuff, buddy. Okay, we'll catch you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye.